If you're looking to install Bitwarden Void on Proxmox container, then you are at the right place. Hi, my name is Dala and welcome back to my channel. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install Bitwarden Vault on Proxmox container. So I'm going to use the latest Proxmox version, which is 9.0, and we are going to install Bitwarden Vault on the top of container. So it's going to contain a little bit mixture of things. So I'll guide you step by step on everything, how you can install, create container and do everything on this. Even I'm going to tell you how you can set up SMTP server using your Gmail as a bonus. So you'll be able to send and receive notification through the email and you can also access the admin panel using the SMTP notification system. So let's jump to the computer screen. Before we start the installation process, let's look at the requirements first. So first thing we're going to need installation ID and the installation key from this website bitwarden.com slash host. And it's pretty simple. You just go to this website, type your email address, and then you will see this page with installation ID and installation key. Okay. And the second thing is going to be processor, which is very minimum 1.4 and ram is like minimum 2 gigs i'm currently using 4 gig for my current server but you can still use 2 gigs and the storage minimum requirement is 12 gig up and we're going to use the os which is going to be debian and this these are the features you're going to uh, set on the container and then another must thing you need is a domain name top level domain or a subdomain and then the SMTP for uh, management of the server like to access the admin panel of Bitwarden you, you're gonna need SMTP settings okay for setting up the domain I already have set up a subdomain which is uh, this dalha-bitwarden and I'm also forwarding this using my uh, Nginx proxy manager and the second thing for the management SMTP, I'm going to use the Google account. So I have this account, uh, zsol.srv at gmail.com. I'm going to use this email just for uh, testing or like doing the stuff on my Bitwarden. So I have SMTP settings saved and I will share those uh, in the comments as well. So let's start with creating the container first which is going to be our step number one so i'm going to go ahead and click on create container and since it's a test so i'm just using it cd id 150 and i'm going to give it name what i used in my domain which was dalha dash bitwarden and then Gonna give it a password. Then make sure it's uh, unprivileged container is checked and the nesting is checked as well. And then click on next. Here we will select the template since it's sitting in the local. So you can see it's Debian 12 standard. I click next. And then for disk, as I told you, 12 GB is required, like the minimum. But I'm going to use 20 gigs. And for CPU cores, I'm using two. And for RAM, I'm going to use four gigs of RAM and one gig of swap memory. And then here, I'm going to use uh, a static IP. I guess this is the IP I set, yes, 151. So I'll use this IP address. Just to make sure if it's forwarding to the right IP. And then for the domain, I'm going to use my actual domain because I'm forwarding uh, to dalha uk. And for the DNS server, I can use Google or I can use my personal DNS, but I prefer using Google. Okay, and then don't click on start after created. Click on finish. 
once it's uh, created, then we are going to enable two more features. Okay, it says task okay. Okay, under the options of this container, click on features and then check on key CTL and FUSD and then click OK. Now you can start the machine. And then we are going to run this script. Okay, machine is up. So simply just paste the command, what we copied from the article. Right click and paste. So it's going to uh, install Docker for you because the Bitwarden package is for Docker. So we are going to install Docker on the container and then we will pull all the packages of Bitwarden and also this script will create a user for you which is going to be a Bitwarden user. After the completion of uh, the installation of Docker and download of the uh, Bitwarden data, we're going to uh, use the user Bitwarden to in, uh, install and uh, set up our Bitwarden. So this process can take like up to 30 seconds or can go up to 10 minutes depending on the internet speed you have on your server. For me, it's like pretty good. Like while I was talking to you, it was completed. So it took even less than a minute. Okay. So even in the instructions, you can see to uh, start Bitwarden, change the user. So we're going to type this command su Bitwarden. So now you can see the user is changed from root to Bitwarden. And then we are going to the directory, see the opt Bitwarden. And then we are going to run the command dot slash Bitwarden.sh and then install in the end. So if I just run bitwarden.sh, it's going to show me how many commands I have available to run after that. So I can install, I can start, restart, update, update database, update run. So it's like so many commands you can try uh, on, on your test server. Even if it's uh, running in the production, uh, the useful commands are to restart, stop, start, and then update. And there is uh, another com command update self. Okay, since you're going to install, so I'm gonna type install and it will show me some prompt. So, first of all, as I told you, you're gonna need a domain name. So, I'm using talha bitwarden.zsol.uk. I'm gonna enter this one and it's asking me, do you want to use Let's Encrypt to generate? A free SSL. I'm gonna say no because I'm using SSL from the cloud there. And then it's asking for the database you want to use. By default, you can use Vault, or if you want to use something else, you can use that. Like if I'm, I want to use this name, I can use this. Then it's gonna pull uh, the Docker container. Okay. Now it's asking for the installation ID. So we have that already. I'm gonna just simply copy the installation ID from here, and then I'll simply right click here and paste. So installation ID and then the installation key. Paste, and then the region. So when you put in your email uh, while getting the installation keys and IDs in the Bitwarden, it's going to ask you what region you're going to use it for. So I selected US there, so I'm going to type US here as well. And again, it's asking me, do you have SSL certificate to use? If you want to use your certificate here, you can do that as well. But I'm going to use, as I told you, SSL certificates on my Nginx proxy manager. So again, I'm going to say no. and then. Again, it's asking if you want 
to generate the cell sign certificate, I'm going to say no. So now everything is done. And we just need to start Bitwarden. So still, I'm under a Bitwarden user. And now it's saying next step is to start. So in previous step, uh, we installed it. Now we're going to start. So same command, bitwarden.sh, and then start. And now it's going to start all the services. Okay, so this process took almost a minute and a half to pull all the containers and now everything is good, up and running. And it's saying Bitwarden is up and running. Visit this website and to update, run this command, update itself, and then up the Bitwarden update. Okay, so let's go to my subdomain and try this Delha dash Bitwarden. Awesome. So now you can see the Brit Warden is installed. So because there is no settings configured already, anybody can come here and create an account and start using Brit Warden using this uh, this link. And you can start with your first account. So let's just do that. I'm just going to use a random account and then continue and here it's going to ask you for your master password and then again and let's say uh tell it one two three home address <laughs> just a random thing so it says your account has been created awesome so now we can add the extension and start using bitward and skip to the web version so here you can see you have uh, your tools to send the encrypted text and you can generate password using it so you can import data export data so everything what you need, you have in this Bitwarden vault, uh, Bitwarden account. So one thing you noticed that it didn't ask me for any kind of verification. I just put in a random email address. And now I'm able to use it. So all those settings you will do in the um, Bitwarden admin account. And again, as I told you in the start of my video to access the admin panel of Bitwarden vault you are going to need uh, SMTP for that and also I told you I'm going to use the Google SMTP so to edit the settings for SMTP we are going to open this file hello sorry to bother you in the middle of the video but I want you to stop for a second and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel under Bitwarden folder go to BW data and then I think it's ENV. Yes. And then we are going to open the global override.env file. And here you can see it's uh it already set up one email address, reply to no reply at this 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 dot com. But I'm going to use uh the actual email address, the uh my Gmail address. But if you have like your own SMTP server, that's even better. So I'm going to replace everything here with my email. Everything is updated here. You can see the only uh, left thing is the SMTP password. So for password, you cannot directly use Gmail password. Google is going to like reject those kind of emails uh, thinking it's a spam. So for that, we use another feature which is called the app password so that way google thinks it's being used in some application okay and for that you're gonna need two-step verification on 2fa enabled on your gmail account i'm um, again rephrasing this you need to enable two-step verification otherwise you cannot get the app password okay so go to your gmail account and then click on manage account and under manage account just search for app password 
and here you will be prompt to enter your password one more time and then in the next screen you can see to create a new app specific password please type the name so you can give it any name for me it's like uh talha dash bitwarden i'm just going to create a new password and it will show me this password and simply copy and then go to the uh, settings here then paste the password so just remove the space in the end or let's just re-verify yeah there is no space in the end so i'm just going to remove the space from the end and save the settings and then again i'm going to restart so whatever changes i have made they should apply sorry i have to go back to the same directory and then restart the service so it's going to stop and then start again okay so this one took a few seconds but the text was uh, like messed up so i was still waiting like for two minutes and then as i pressed enter i can see there is a text which says uh, visit this website okay so as i uh, as we set up already the admin settings for our vault so i'm just gonna go and open a new tab and slash admin and i'm going to use my email address what i set up in the settings and then i'll click on continue okay if a valid admin user this uh, address exists we sent the email secure link so now you can see i received email from myself because i set up my account and now if i click on click on login now i am uh in the administration panel so this is how the administration panel look like so i think i mentioned almost everything here but uh for sample of like google smtp settings if you want you can take the screen chart of the page where i showed you all the settings or you can comment me on my video or in the blog i will share all the settings and, and again this was just for uh the installation process and some basic settings there there's like tons of more settings you can do, uh, do on your bitwarden server like restrictions of anyone registering to your server so you can do that as well and again this video is going too long thank you so much for watching the video and if you have learned something new make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and if you want to really support me on my efforts you can go to donate.sonnetsolutions.com and i'll see you in the next video bye bye